I'd like to take you on an art quilt journey to show you how my quilt, Metamorphosis, Ringtailed Pussycat, was made. The first thing I do is gather my materials. The surprise element is the rubber bands. I then prepare my fabric for inkjet printing by ironing freezer paper to the back of the fabric and trimming it to 8.5 by 11 inches. Next I run the prepared fabric through my printer, making sure I get as many images on a page as I can. Ironing a fusible on the back of the printed images makes it easy to cut, layer, and fuse. Now I use paint to add hair to my smaller pictures. I use the cap of my pen as a stamp. If you try this at home, please practice on a paper picture first. Once the paint's on the fabric, it's on. After all my images are cut to size, I move them around to create the optimum composition. After deciding I would like an off-center fractured look, I fuse the pieces in place. I use two rosette trim pieces and stuff them with batting in yo-yos to give her a more shapely form. Now she'll have a good figure, but I'll put them aside for later. I quilt the work now before I put on the dimensional embellishments. I quilt on the edges of all my fused pieces and then use straight lines for overall quilting. For me, the hardest part of the quilt is getting the edges true. I sew on a quarter inch binding for this little quilt. Fold the binding to the back and slip stitch in place. Now I get to do the fun part, make the quilt come alive. For the hair on the pussycat, I use 300 blue rubber bands, sewing them on with my machine. Red sequins hand sewn on the tail and ears make her glitter like the queen she is. Black beads make up her earrings. This is a picture of the finished quilt, but looking at the photo I see one thing wrong. The earrings should have three, not two, strands of beads. It looks unfinished to me. Hope you enjoyed our journey and I'll get right on that earring.